Hi, Garden Rebels. We have a bit of an emergency. We are planting some window boxes and I'm pulling some plants. I thought I would take you along on that journey from planting the window boxes to planting the window boxes to installing the window boxes to seeing the end result. See what you think. We've got quite a few window boxes for this one. I'm gonna go with reds, oranges, yellows. It's in that color scheme, I'll show you that. Reds, oranges, yellows. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I definitely wanna use this orange calibricoa. Oh, really a beautiful, beautiful bloom on there. Oh, definitely use that. Oh, I'm gonna use this really bright red verbena. This one right here. It's a bright red. And I am gonna put some things secretly for the hummingbirds. Well, that was super cool. That made my day. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely gonna work for hummingbirds. That was a Coopfia, by the way, and that particular variety is called Honey Bells. Just a heavy, heavy bloomer. I'm sneaking that in between these geraniums, these orange geraniums. I think, oh, it's just enough formality with a little bit of wild, and just to make that, just to make it pop. I'm gonna tell you about the actual window box. In the beginning years, it used to be that just window boxes manufactured, the ones that we found were just always so small. It wasn't really, it was more about like the actual window box on the house rather than plants surviving and thriving um, in them. And so they always tends to be too narrow or too shallow or too narrow to get plants in. Uh, and then also sometimes we found some large hay rack type window boxes that looked pretty on the house, but sometimes were just a bear to remove, you know, unhook. And if you're on a shaky ladder, it's always a little unnerving. So we came up with an insert for our window boxes. So we had these specially built. Uh, a little bit about them. One, I made them deep enough so that there's enough soil uh, to hold enough water and nutrients for real plant growth. And meaning real plant growth is, if you wanna do an evergreen box that goes year round through the uh, spring, summer, fall, winter, yes, you can. If you wanna do a dramatic uh, spring, summer uh, window box with all of that gorgeous color, uh, and foliage, yes you can, it can take that hot sun. Uh, we've also built in it, so we have a little plate here, but this is a water reservoir, so it will also hold water in nicely. And then another thing too is we put these drain holes, once the reservoir fills, it goes out the drain holes, but it won't go down the side of your house. It, it's put out enough so that it keeps the water off the house. So anyway, just some thoughtful, um, uh, when you're thinking about window boxes, just some tips on what to think about if you really want something that grows nice plants. Let's get started planting them. Plants I wanted to show you that I think I've, I've done that yellow, um, orange, red scheme of things. 
some plants I like to just to show you real quick. Uh, this coleus right here on the edge, just gives enough pop in there. Of course, your eye gets attracted to the very traditional but cool new oranges in uh, geranium. Just, um, it's a traditional plant, grows, grows, goes to town, and, uh, and I just love those new colors. Actually new colors and a little bit new foliage too, so keep an eye out for those. Love the oranges. This is that cupia I was talking to you about, that honeybells cupia. This is the one the hummingbirds will just go after. So I have this kind of a traditional, um, traditional geranium, and then a little bit of that wild um, cupia that can grow those uh, nice flowery stems. And remember too, also on that cupia, you can cut that. So if it feels like it's coming up alongside your window or too tall, you can easily trim those nicely. Now this window box is going to be a tad bit lower. So this is not a two-story window box. I'll show you that on how, how I plan to do a two-story window box. This is something that we can get to and we can pluck and prune um, at our heart's delight. I've got that sun-loving coleus, so it can, uh, it can take shade, but it can also take sun. I just gotta show you this. Just love that. Isn't that amazing? Um, and then that, here's that red verbena I was talking to you about, the Endurascape Red. Uh, just that striking, true red, just sharp red. And I, I put in that contrast against some other sun-loving coleuses as well. Coleus, again, another amazing plant that you can do. A straight window box of just coleuses or a hanging basket of just coleuses or a container of just coleuses. Really easy care. It does throw out that bloom, you know, that kind of uh, finishes it. But oftentimes folks will just pluck those blooms too if they, uh, if you don't like those blooms. Uh, oh, one more too is the scavola. Take a look at this. This is often called fan flower. Used to be just in the blues, uh, blue range. Now we've got them in a nice bright white. I use white sparingly in my uh, containers, unless I want to, that to be part of the major show, but white takes a lot of attention and it's, it's, it can immediately become the diva, but I want something else to be the diva. And then this is just a little spot. Scavola, by the way, the neat thing about that particular one is it throws out a crazy arm and a crazy leg throughout your entire uh, throughout your entire container. So just like a nice surprise, they'll just throw it out. And then the other thing too that's, that, that's neat about the scavola is that I call it the, um, the indicator plant. And if your scavola, if you put one in there, it kind of tells you your water dryness level in your window box or, or hanging basket. Because the scavola is one of those that start to droop very quickly. So if it starts to droop, we know, hey, ding, 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 more water. Another thing came to mind while I was planting that just is if you notice, we also made the window box wide enough so that you can get two four inch plants side by side. So you literally can plant out two, four, six, eight, ten plants across. So we also made them in two foot and three foot lengths so that if you had say a four foot, uh, four foot window, you can do two foot, two, two footers. If you have a five foot window, you can do a three footer and a two footer. If you have a seven footer, you, you get the message.
Lune, yo me llamo Tazán y la gente me dice ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva El Jane es perfecto, gracias a sus raíces ¿Sabes? ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva Buscando con mis leones, cazando los hierbos ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva Yo soy de fiesta de leones a cerdo ¿Cómo es? El rey de la selva Halo Tarzán, Halo Tarzán Soy el mero pero haters no faltan Yo le echo los leones y ya está Yo soy Orangutanes hacen lo que digo, yo soy El rey de la selva Que con la púa me dicen el tiro viejo, yo soy El rey de la selva Que al lado de la mara no me dan un brinco, yo soy El rey de la selva Que con mi fal de hoja nunca yo me rindo, yo soy El rey de la selva Marmolada de banana para ella Le sirve mucho porque ella está muy bella Se ve más linda, se ve más bella Yo soy Bariña, una oncella Orangutan y Superman Yo mando a todas estas tu papá Yo soy el jefe de este lugar Yo soy el rey de la selva No se pide, el respeto aquí se gana Se nota que tú de la selva, te atoja mi sabana Orangutan y Superman, yo mando a tu I'm looking forward to seeing these window boxes really bloom this summer We'll keep an eye on that You can see the beginnings of the difference From the house to the home With some window boxes, easy to plant easy to install and can make a nice big difference guys that's the show for the day always live your passion i'm going to show you some more hummingbirds